Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to another dev blog. Today we're looking at the Fritz X guided bomb right on target. This is a completely new weaponry that is coming to the airplanes. And um, in short, an aerial bomb whose flight can be slightly corrected to hit targets more precisely. A fundamentally new weapon in War Thunder. And that is absolutely the case. Nice picture here, by the way. The PC-1400X, the Fretz X, is not just the first guided bomb in our game, but the first bomb accepted into service that was used in combat conditions to destroy a surface target. So two hints here. Isn't just the first guided bomb in our game. So we're going to have more. <laughs> of course, they are preparing for naval to come and they want airplanes, bombers, attackers to have options and this is definitely an option against bigger naval targets so there is that most of the other nations came later with similar kinds of weapons of course the Germans were the first again they uh, with their wonder weapons they put a lot of effort in on uh, all kinds of um, groundbreaking technology as most of you guys know, as you're also World War II enthusiast most of the time. And uh, this was uh, no exception. This was uh, the first guided bomb to be developed and used in combat. So that is, again, a German first. Let's see. Uh, the German scientist and inventor Max Kramer began developing a means to increase the accuracy of aerial bombs back in 1938 already. The engineer insisted that to achieve high accuracy, the bomb must be equipped with remote control. Well, he was right about that. <laughs> After the arrival of Dr. Kramer to the science laboratories of the Rulestar company, the warhead of the PC-1400 Fritz bomb was selected as the basis of the new bomb. By the beginning of 1942, the first prototype models of the experimental Fritz X guided bombs were delivered to the Pinumunde training ground and a few weeks later tests were performed in Italy. The test showed that the bomb's variance was under 28 meters and in 1943 the wonder weapon was put into service. Now the variance between the different bombs where they actually wanted them to go and where they actually went is only 28 meters. That is an insane number 28 meters. It's very low. You know some of the bombing runs uh, with uh, from the allies at the German cities they missed their targets by hundreds hundreds of meters and uh, m sometimes even more and 28 meters variance to tests is insanely accurate for uh, World War II bombs so you know it really was a wonder weapon let's say <laughs> in total uh, 1386 of these Fritz X bombs were produced and 108 were dropped in combat situation. The first was the very famous episode of German bombers using the Fritz X to attack the Italian Navy while it was on the way to Malta to surrender to the Allies. Now, when I read this little bit in there, they had a few uh, tweaks come up because they put this bomb on the uh, Heinkel 177 and the Heinkel 1186. But uh, in the attack on the uh, battleship Italia, it was uh, actually used by other planes. I'll show you that in a sec. And they say here that as a result from this attack from a height of four to 5,000 meters, the battleship Italia took a hit and uh, one nearby explosion but survived. The battleship Roma was less lucky. The first bomb broke through the battleship's deck on the starboard side of her main turret, penetrating right through her hull and exploding below the keel. The second bomb hit in the central main gun turret and exploded beneath the bow turbine compartment. As a result, the gun magazines detonated and the Roma was destroyed, throwing the turret actually off the deck and into the sea, separating it from the ship entirely. M huge explosion. But what I wanted to show you was that here, the Dornier Doe 217s were actually the aircraft equipped with the Fritz X in this case. And actually were the planes that were used for this attack on the Italians. And here indeed it says that two bombs slammed into the Roma, capsized, broke into, carrying 1,393 men, including the captain, down with her. Sad stories always, these naval things. Most people get locked up in the ship and such big ship, they 
create a huge sucking of water down so everybody goes down with the ship most of the time. Only very few people survive these kind of battleship sinkings. Anyway, back to the uh, development blog. The Fritz X is a guided armor piercing bomb weighing 1570 kilos with an explosive content of 320 kilos. The bomb was equipped with Duralumin fins and a stabilizer. It also had a set of radio equipment. The bomb was guided by radio signal from an aircraft using a special joystick. The bomb flight could be tracked and its course corrected through the bomb site. Bright tracing lights lit up in the tail section of the bomb after launch. That sounds absolutely futuristic for a World War II bomb, right? <laughs> Joysticks, radio signals and all that jazz. Absolutely amazing. In our game, the Fritz X bomb will arrive with update patch 1.79 Project S. X and will be available on two bombers, the Heinkel 177 and the Heinkel 11186. I don't know why it won't be available on the Dorniers. Uh, you know, they were the ones that carried out the first actual combat success with these bombs. So I guess maybe in the future they will get the, this bomb as well as an option. But um, they were definitely used according to the wiki. Anyway guys, this is going to be interesting and this is definitely a prelude to Naval Forces uh, Beta where these planes will be able to attack uh, destroyers and in the future of course the cruisers and potentially bigger ships when we get there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.